How are we doing this evening, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm going to do a brief run through tonight on how to use the Anon's operating system so you can be anonymous on the internet. I'm just doing a USB drive. We're not using a virtual machine this evening. So you take a, a thumb drive. Um, this one is 64 gig. It's got to be pretty big. And you stick it in. You hit your power button and wait till it says press escape in the bottom corner. First, you're going to have to go to your BIOS setup, which is F10, and you're going to have to change your boot order to USB. Okay, but I've already done that tonight, so I'm going to go to F9 to boot options. And then you boot from your USB hard drive, UEFI, to this. Is, I have a SanDisk Cruiser Fit, so I hit enter, and then you hit install MoFo Linux. Now it's going to go through and it's going to take uh, a couple of minutes here and it's going to boot up. And after it boots up, I'm going to briefly show you how to open up a terminal and uh, update your, com your uh, operating system. Now once it's updated, you'll, uh, you'll be able to surf the web anonymously without leaving any kind of electronic thumbprint and uh, I think it's this is something that's very important and very pertinent for uh, TIs to have uh, any kind of gang stalking victims uh, whether it be just on the internet or you know uh, whether people have stolen from you things of that nature if you use this when once you log out of the program itself after it comes up uh, everything is erased. So basically what I'm showing you is something you have to do every time when you're using a thumb drive or a flash drive with this operating system. But like I said, it leaves absolutely no imprint at all of anything that you've been doing. And it makes it much harder for people to penetrate your operating system. So, you know, no, no hacking and things of that nature. Uh, you know the only other thing that would that could probably help prevent that would probably be uh to change your passwords and find a way to keep a log of your passwords uh, through protection as well so we see it came up here here's mofo linux this is uh this is what the anons use one of the many programs that they use uh, give me just a moment here. I'm going to set up my internet. Okay. So once you have set up your internet, you put your password in. There's the, the internet is over here in the top right corner, just like a normal operating system either the top or the bottom one second here guys okay so it's about to pop up that I have a connection established right here in the top right hand corner give it just a moment see it says connection established now, if you want, you go over here to this corner, you go to Internet, and you can open up your Firefox web browser. And this will this will work. And you have to use a different program in combination with it, and it's called Lantern. And as soon as it pops up here, I will show you. Um, basically, what it does is it unblocks the Internet from any any site that won't let you use protection on and it has to be used in combination with uh, Mozilla Firefox so I've got that up and coming now see it popped up right here on the screen it's a it's a little blue circle with a lantern in the middle of it and it's popping up on our screen now
so and then if you look down here at the bottom corner there's a green light and it says connected so now we have our, our internet unblocker on there so I'm just gonna minimize this just so I can go in and show you you go to system tools now this is to update and upgrade your system right you go to mate terminal and then it pops up uh, the terminal pops up and sudo is the command word for for mofo linux so you type in sudo space apt dash git update and you hit enter and it's going to go through a long you're going to see it pop up and it's going to can start upgrading and updating the system now once you do the sudo apt get update command like I said it's going to go through and it might take 10 or 15 minutes sometimes it takes just a couple of minutes um, what's going to happen at the end it might ask you a couple of questions you just hit either Y or I in response and uh, then you're going to go and you're going to type in once it clears and it comes to the green mofo at mofo you're going to type in the same thing sudo apt dash git upgrade and it looks like I'm having an error here so I'll have to fix that but and then after you do that you go back and you open your Mozilla up open up a new tab and you type in download T O R and you go to the Tor download. This is a, a web browser that's completely anonymous. Go into the Linux and you download the Tor browser. and because this is on a thumb drive and I'm just using this to take with I just open it I don't save it you can save it and it works just fine but I just open and the download see it goes really fast we're at about 15 seconds left here alright it's almost there Okay, so I close this. It's gonna the, the archive manager is gonna pop up, and I I like to open it up. You open it back up in the download, and then this is the file you open the containing file, the folder, open, and then your archiver is gonna pop up. So you click on this, and then you right click, and you go to extract here and as you see it's going to extract it's extracting the archive right now alright so we have extracted almost Okay, so I'm going to close this stuff out now that we have. We don't have to use Mozilla anymore. Uh, I'm going to kill this. I'm going to kill the terminal. Um, I can. I was just using that as an example. And then you double click on Tor Browser, and then Tor Browser Setup pops up. Double click and then you see the the world symbol with Tor browser pops up click on that and then it pops up here so you connect here if you want to pay for a VPN or you're using a different VPN or proxy you can figure here or you can quit but then we just connect and uh, 
like I said, this is this is how the anons do it. That's how they keep their digital imprint away. Um, there is a bunch of other things on here that you would have to, you know, practice with and look at yourself. But we also have uh, I2P. Um, see where is it? I2P controller. That's where you can use different tunnels or even create your own tunnel through IPFS and some other things here. Um, but it's it's a great operating system and it's really fun to run and uh, it keeps you completely safe and this is what I think all TI should be using I think you should be downloading it it's free uh, like I said it works great and uh, if you have any questions feel free to message me and maybe I can help you with getting your system up and running on a USB or I can also show you how to get it running through a virtual machine um, which is the preferred way to use it. I just like to use it like this because it's it's uh, I can just keep my operating system in my pocket. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.